yeah, Doc, I have this recurring nightmare about redoing our streaming TV services roundup over and over again. What do you think it means? Can't be good. Wait, we're doing it again? We're doing it again? We're doing it again. Okay, we're doing it again. Yeah, we're back because six months ago we ranked DirecTV Now number one among streaming TV services because, frankly, we were ignorant hacks. Okay, not really, but things are changing really fast in the streaming TV world, so we need to redo these rankings, it seems like, constantly. So a year ago, Sling and DirecTV Now seemed unstoppable, but now they're stalling out or they're shrinking while YouTube TV and Hulu Live have been growing like crazy. So the question now is whether you should follow the crowd and jump to one of those, or if the other services are still just fine. So let's dive in and find out. Now, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon if you like what we do here, because we're here every Wednesday and Friday with another video just like this, so we hope you'll join us for those. Anyway, let's get started on this one. In recent weeks, we've gone into some detail on the state of Sling TV, DirecTV Now, YouTube TV, Hulu Live, PlayStation View, and Fubo. I think I got them all. Just check out this playlist right up here. You can go into detail on any one of those individually if you'd like to. Anyway, today's comparison is all about live TV streaming. So we're not really talking about Netflix or Amazon Prime or regular Hulu or any of the other on-demand streaming services. We're also not including Philo in this roundup, even though it is, in fact, another live TV streaming service. But Philo is fundamentally different from the rest. It may be the perfect standalone service for you, but most of the time what we hear is people using it really well as a $16 add-on to YouTube TV or Hulu Live, something like that, basically to get your Viacom channels and a few others to fill out your channel list. Anyway, now that we've surveyed the major players in the current market, I think it's time for some final recommendations. Or at least as final as it can be in an industry that's constantly, annoyingly changing. Now, spoiler alert, this is basically going to be a tale of triumph, at least for the moment, for YouTube TV and Hulu Live, and a tale of woe for almost everybody else. But let's go look at the details. If you follow me over here, I want to talk to you about price, because frankly, pricing is one of the first questions anybody is going to have when it comes to these services. So let's tackle pricing. The best pricing on the market right now goes to YouTube TV at 40 bucks a month. I wrote this video weeks ago. We are literally five minutes away from posting this and just found out that yes, today was the day that YouTube TV decided to bump that price to 50 bucks a month. So, so much for whatever I was about to say. The simplicity there is beautiful. Now you can add on some premium channels, but you don't have to worry about paying extra for more simultaneous streams or a premium DVR. And I can hear you saying already, hey, Craig, Sling is cheaper. And that's technically true, you're right. With the orange and blue packages on Sling at 25 bucks each, you can go cheaper. But the channels at Sling are strategically arranged to make you want the combo, which is 40 bucks anyway. And if you do any add-ons, it's gonna be just as expensive or more expensive than anything else. Now, Hulu is also really good on price at 45 bucks a month, but while there's only one plan, which we like, again, simplicity, you have to watch out for the premium features there. They can add up. 10 bucks a month for unlimited streams, 10 bucks a month for premium DVR, 15 bucks if you do both, plus $4 for the commercial-free version of Hulu's on-demand service. It does kind of add up. Now, DirecTV Now and Fubo TV have both raised their prices significantly just over the last few weeks, so now they're in the $50 to $70 range. And DirecTV Now even made good on their promise to thin the content in exchange for upping that price, so I don't think they'll be winning many new converts. And PlayStation View continues on its merry little way as an expensive service, but honestly, I should probably take that back because now, compared to all the others, it's not even that expensive anymore. Certainly not the base package anyway. Now let's talk about the DVR situation. First of all, here's the deal. Every time I give out a compliment to a DVR on a streaming service, everyone seems to come out of the woodwork to tell me why actually it's bad. And frankly, you all have a point. Every one of these services comes with a DVR, but each of those DVRs has some restriction that will probably frustrate you. PlayStation View, for instance, won't let you fast forward through Fox channels. Sling doesn't let you record Disney-owned channels at all. Hulu and Fubo make you pay extra for a DVR with decent storage. You see where I'm going with this. Anyway, if I gave the DVR crown to any of these services, it would probably have to be YouTube TV, which at no extra charge gives you unlimited storage and lets you keep your recordings for nine months. It does still sometimes swap in an on-demand recording for your recorded one, so you have to watch commercials, but yeah, it's happening less, so that's nice. 
Anyway, I've been saying this with cable and satellite providers for years now, but now I'll say it with the streaming providers. Don't make DVR your deciding factor when you're deciding between all these services. Just think of it as a nice bonus. Now, if you're just watching by yourself, you probably don't care too much about simultaneous streams, but if you've got a lot of people in your household who want to take advantage, you're going to worry about that. So let's start with Hulu. If you've got a large family that wants to watch, then Hulu is going to be your best option. They can do unlimited streams for an additional 10 bucks on top of their normal price. Otherwise, it's just two simultaneous streams. PlayStation View technically gets five streams at a time, but honestly, that is so complicated, like I talked about in that video, it's effectively three. Uh, Sling gives you only one stream on the orange side and three on the blue side and if you get the combo package then you do get four simultaneous streams but again only one of those can be from the orange channels which by the way includes ESPN so that's weirdly complex there. Fubo and DirecTV Now both include just two simultaneous streams and you can use just one more if you pay six bucks in Fubo's case and five dollars on DirecTV Now. YouTube TV allows for three streams, end of story. We could wish for more, but it's also kind of hard to beat that simplicity. Now let's talk devices. Yes, you will need something like this Apple TV in order to watch any of these services. The good news is that you can assume that with all of these services, they're gonna be available on most every device. Even PlayStation View is available on a variety of devices, not just PlayStations. So if you're using a Roku or an Apple TV or an Amazon Fire, a smart TV, whatever the case is, most of these services will be available on most devices. But there are a few exceptions to that that you've got to watch out for. First, if you're using an Android TV device like the Nvidia Shield or some smart TVs, then DirecTV Now and Hulu Live are out. Not an option there. Regular old Hulu has an Android TV app, so I have to assume that they'll add one for Hulu Live before too long, but we'll see. If you want to watch on a game console, the Xbox is going to be spotty, but the PlayStation, the device, the PlayStation only allows you to watch PlayStation View. So go figure. The biggest omission though, in my opinion, is that there is no YouTube TV on Amazon Fire devices. That one's kind of a bummer. But here the exceptions kind of prove the rule. Whichever device you want to use, you're going to find something to watch. Now channels are obviously extremely important. We want to know which channels are on which service. And you guys are always talking in the comments about which ones are your favorites and where you can watch them. So what I want to do is take all this and rank these services for who has the best channels, but frankly, that's impossible because it's such a subjective thing. You guys are all talking about different channels and which ones are your favorite. And the channel selection is all over the place among these services. But here's what I was able to do. I took the top 10 most watched basic cable networks just to see which streaming services had those ones at least. Now, I looked at the $40 to $50 range as close as possible for all of these services. So, for instance, we have Sling's combo tier, the blue plus orange at 40 bucks, but PlayStation View's lower tier at 45. That's the best I could do for trying to compare apples to apples. And what we see here is that they are all over the place with their channel selection. The last thing I will mention is that, frankly, channel count doesn't matter because what should matter to you is well, what matters to you? So whatever your favorite channel is, here's what I want you to do. Hit the description below and look in the channels section and I'll have some links to each of these services and all the channels that they provide. So if you wanna go check out whether your favorite channel is included on whichever service, we've got all those links there. We've done the work for you. You just need to hit that link and check on your preferred channel. All right, so the bottom line here, because of its simplicity, YouTube TV might be the best all around service, especially when you add Philo to the mix as well to round out its channel count. Hulu has more add-ons to worry about, so price-wise it can get a little bit much, but it's also a great choice, especially if you want unlimited simultaneous streams and Hulu's great on-demand service. Honestly, those two are so close that next week we're gonna pit the two of them against each other and see which one comes out on top. As for the others, Sling is okay, and if you wanna hang on to that, I won't really fight you too hard, but DirecTV Now, Fubo, PlayStation View, because of their price hikes, the channel counts involved, the device availability, they're gonna to have to make some pretty significant changes to get back into the fight. But that's just my opinion. I wanna hear what you have to say as well, so head down to the comments below. And although I know you don't need this encouragement, let me know where you think I'm wrong. But also let me know where you think I'm right. And on your way down there, give this video a like. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell icon so you know when the next video comes out. Like I said, we are here every Wednesday and Friday, so we will see you on the next review.